Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. Today we are gonna make tomato tortillo soup. So it is a tr twist on a regular tomato soup. Tomato tortilla soup has, of course, corn tortillas in it. That's key that you don't use flour, you use corn. And so to get started, we are going to start with our blender. And in the blender, we are going to cut up one onion. And we are gonna put this whole onion in there. I'm just cutting it up a little bit just to make it so that it fits a little easier with the tomatoes and everything. Let's get that little part off that doesn't look so exciting. Okay. To this, we are adding tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes, and I'm simply just gonna give them a quick chop in half. As you can see, let's see how many am I using. That's three, four, five, six, You want about a four to one ratio between tomatoes and um, onion. Seven, eight. I think we'll call it a day with eight. Okay. And I am going to puree this. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna get started with the rest of it. So our corn tortillas, I have four corn tortillas here. I am simply just gonna give these a quick chop into um, like little triangles. And we are going to put these tortillas in the skillet with um, some olive oil. We're going to toast and soften the tortillas. Once we've got that accomplished, we're going to add our spices. Uh, today we have two tablespoons of chili powder and I have almost two teaspoons of cumin. So let's get our skillet on. And I added about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Now it's gonna take us a couple of minutes to get these softened. Once they're softened, we'll add the spices. Okay, so I've just added the chili powder and the cumin to the corn tortillas and we are gonna let those spices just mingle a little bit. And then the next step, of course, we're going to add in our tomato onion puree. Okay, so to this we are adding four cups of vegetable broth and then you can gauge how thick you want your soup. You can add one to two cups of regular water. We are also adding about uh, two ounces of tomato paste, which would be about three to four tablespoons, okay? Oops. 
So what I'm doing now is I am combining the tomato paste in with the soup itself and the water. We're going to bring this back up to a boil and then we're going to cover and let it simmer. Okay, the soup has been simmering on the stove for about 20 minutes or so. We're gonna finish it up by adding a last few key ingredients. One is a lime. We are going to add and squeeze a whole lime in it. We're also gonna rough chop a little bit of cilantro here and add that as well. You can see I've de-stemmed it. And then to this, um, we're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. So whatever your preference is. Now, if um, your kids or somebody hates cilantro, you can admit it. Um, if you love it, add more. Another thing I usually do add on serving is a little bit of cheese to the soup. So I'll show you all of that. Give it a quick taste, see how much salt it might need. Oh, that's good. I don't think it really needs any. All right, time to eat tomato tortilla soup. I have garnished it, as you can see, with a little cilantro, a little cheese, and sour cream. You do it however you want for you. But mm, the flavor you get in just a half an hour or so is amazing. If you wanted to, you could cook it longer, um, but just like this, it's really great. You can spice it up and make it a whole meal by adding chicken or beans to it if you want it as well. If you like this video, I would appreciate it. And if you really like what you're hearing and seeing, please subscribe. Thanks for watching What's Cooking with Rochelle. Bye for now. Mm. That's good.